بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک یوز کیلکولیٹ ٹو مینوپولیٹ فلٹرس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیڈ اے ڈیٹیل لک ایٹ دا ڈیفینیشن آف دا کیلکولیٹ فنکشن اینڈ وی سو ہاؤ دا فلٹر ایکسپریشنس کین بی یوز ٹو ایڈ فلٹر کانٹیکسٹ اور مینوپولیٹ دا فلٹرس ان سائڈ دا کیلکولیٹ ایکسپریشن now we are going to have a detailed look at the filter functions which are also called as calculate modifiers and we are going to see how these modifiers manipulate the filter context modifiers are used to alter the way calculate creates filter context and are added as filter arguments within a calculate function so we we have seen already filter expressions now we are going to have a look at the modifiers which are added at the same position where the filter expression was added modifiers are typically used to change filter con context access inactive table relationships or change the way filters propagate that is one way to the bidirectional so we are going to focus on the modifiers for the rest of the part we are going to cover calculate and we are going to cover this in three parts first we are going to have a look at the filters which are the modification filters so the filters that add filter context or remove filter context so we are going to have a look at some of the common functions within calculate which can achieve this then we are going to have a look at another function which is the use relationship function which is used to access inactive table relationship so remember once we were building the data model there was an inactive relationship and an, and we discussed that we can change this inactive relationship to active relationship so we are going to have a look at the use relationship function which actually does that and then we are going to have a look at another function which is the cross filter function which is used to change the direction of the cross filter so remember inside the relationship we have the cross filter direction and i said that we want to keep the relationship the the direction of the of the by of the cross filter direction from one side to the many side and as a single direction so we are going to have a look at an a detailed example where we are going to we see how cross filter function can be used to actually do it through the dax functionality and all obviously all of this is happening inside the calculate function so let's go to the power bi desktop environment and have a look at the modification filters so i'm inside the power bi desktop environment and remember in the last video we created this total cost for canada west measure and we use the filter expression this filter expression to actually create this particular measure so what i am going to do now is that i want to actually bring in the rest of the uh, values of the sales region column so actually i want to bring in the sales region column and see what is the result for this particular measure so remember we actually modified the filter context so let's see what what do we see so just for the sake of understanding let's go and bring the total sales region here and let me just put this sales region uh, on first and here if you see what is actually happening is that we are seeing the value of the total cost for canada west across all the other values so essentially this is something which is which is wrong because these central west mexico central mexico south these values should not have the value of 43333 so what is actually happening so let's try and understand it so what is actually happening inside this visual is that once we bring in the sales region the filter context is coming from from this particular column so for canada west we know that the measure is actually modified the total cost uh, measure as actually being modified through the filter that was defined as part of this particular calculation but for all the other regions the same value is appearing here so if we go back into the model view so here from the regions table from the regions table the canada west filter is being flown and it is it is coming and it is doing the filtering but once we have inside the visual the 
sales region column then then filter context is also coming from here but what calculate is essentially doing is that calculate is overwriting the filter context which is coming from these particular values so it is overriding the value of the total cost for canada west for this central west mexico central and all the others so this is a, a situation that we need to actually correct because this is obviously not something that should appear here so we, it should not show anything or it should just show uh, the value for canada west and for the rest of the for the rest of the regions it should not show anything because we know that we have modified our total cost and put in just the filter context for canada west so now let's see how we can actually correct this so in order to actually correct this we have created another measure which is based on the function keep filter so we are using another function which is a calculate modifier so this is the first calculate modifier that we are having a look and this is keep filters so what keep filters does is that it just limits the the filter to the value which has been defined in the expression and it does not actually include the entire column which was actually happening in the total cost for canada west measure so here the new measure which i have made and which i have just created by putting the name keep filters in the bracket and adding the keep filters here is that it just limits the filter to this particular value and it says that okay for the rest of the rest of the values the normal filter context is going to work right so here in the context of this particular calculation now we can just simply bring in this particular value and now you can see that okay the filter has been applied here for just the canada west so we are just seeing the value of canada west and for the rest of the values we are seeing nothing because now this particular value which was being over which was being overwritten on all these values this is not actually happening so for the rest of this we actually know that for the central west obviously central west is not included as part of the filter context so that is why we do not see anything so keep filters is a function that allows you to actually stop what the normal filter expression was doing and the what normal filter expression was doing was that it was actually overwriting the value of canada west on all the other values inside the sales region column so this is how you can put this thing and you can ensure that for all the other values the value is not overwritten and you are just seeing uh, value uh, actually no value here which is basically representing that this is a zero value here so this is the first function which is the keep filters function though so the keep filters function is a calculate modifier and we uh, we have seen how we can use this uh, calculate modifier in a practical example as well one more scenario that we want to uh, look at for better understanding of the of the modification in the filter context is that now we are going to bring in some other dimension so let me just go in the product brands table in the products table and bring in the product brand so let me just bring in the product brand here and remember we had a detailed look at the product brand once we were working in some of the earlier videos especially once we were working in the proper in the power query so we saw that we have 111 product brands so now what I'm going to do here is that in order to have a better understanding of how these this function total uh, this co total cost cost for this measure total cost for Canada West and total cost for Canada West with key filters is working. So I am going to bring in these two measures inside this particular um, this particular visual. So I am going to first bring in my total cost for Canada West. So I'm just going to bring in total cost for total cost for Canada West and then I am going to bring in my the other uh, measure that I created which is total cost for total cost for uh, Canada West with key filter so I am going to change the visualization here so let me just change it to the table so that we have a like for like comparison so now let's have a look so again we are seeing what we actually looked at in previous videos is the 
filter context. So now you see that there is no change in the result for both of these functions. So these are actually giving the same values. Both of these measures are actually giving the same values. And why is that? Because if you have a look at the at the way we declared both these measures using calculate, the filter was only for Canada West. But the rest of the filters which are coming from other tables, they are working normally. So actually, whether we use total cost for Canada West, like we have seen here, or we just have a look at the other function which uses keep filters, the results should actually be the same because none of the filters that we have added to the total cost actually are coming from the product brand. So to, this was important to understand that only this scenario which we saw in this visual is going to be effective for the column for which on which we actually defined this filter. So for the rest of the filters which are coming from other tables and other columns, both of these functions, both of these measures are going to act the same way and you are going to see no difference in the results for for uh, for these uh, both of these particular measures. So this was all about adding context. So we had a detailed look at adding context through the calculate function, adding context to the filter context to the existing filter context. Now in the next part, we are going to look at the opposite thing, which is removing the context. So we are basically removing the removing filters from the context and we are going to have a detailed look at a few functions which are used inside of calculate and how we can actually remove the uh, the filter context inside a particular calculation. So I'll see you in the next video.